Role of de novo lipogenesis and hepatic stellate cells in liver diseases. Introduction. In both developed and developing countries, the incidence of metabolic diseases is on the rise and is largely associated with sedentary lifestyle as well as easy access to calorie-rich, nutrient-low foods. Globally, more than a billion people are affected by non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. We all know that the liver plays a key role in lipid metabolism, but excessive dietary intake of saturated fatty acids, increased free fatty acids derived from lipolysis of white adipose tissue, reduced beta oxidation within the liver, upregulated of the hepatic de novo lipogenesis DNL, and the synthesis of new fatty acids from carbohydrates or proteins are all thought to contribute to liver steatosis. Furthermore, conditions of insulin resistance and oxidative stress induce a lipotoxic environment within the liver, provoking inflammation and hepatocyte injury, which can lead to the development of fibrosis. Role of de novo lipogenesis DNL and hepatic stellate cells de novo lipogenesis, DNL is a complex and highly regulated metabolic pathway. In normal conditions, de novo lipogenesis converts excess carbohydrates into fatty acids, which are then esterified to store triacylglycerols. These triacylglycerols can later provide energy via beta-oxidation. In the human body, this pathway is primarily active in the liver and adipose tissue. On the other hand, the hepatic stellate cell is known to store vitamin A in characteristic lipid droplets. They are located in the small area between the sinusoids and hepatocytes, cells where de novo lipogenesis takes place. In the normal human liver, the cells can be identified by the presence of these lipid droplets. In addition, many stellate cells in the normal liver express alpha-smooth muscle actin. In liver disease, a high carbohydrate diet can prime the de novo lipogenesis pathway with a large substrate load and increase the rate of de novo lipogenesis. This can lead to an accumulation of de novo lipogenesis products, fatty acyl chains linked to coenzyme A, which can be incorporated into a plethora of lipid species. These lipids may then have further metabolic functions, which in turn may be deleterious in cases of elevated de novo lipogenesis as illustrated by several clinical studies. For example, a study has shown that de novo lipogenesis rates compared to healthy controls are upregulated approximately five-fold in individuals with metabolic disorders such as obesity and type 2 diabetes. Similarly, underfed conditions, de novo lipogenesis rates are approximately 25% greater than fasting levels. On the other hand, the stellate cell is the major cell type involved in liver fibrosis, which is the formation of scar tissue in response to liver damage. During acute liver injury, chronic liver injury or vitamin A intoxication, stellate cells can change into an activated state characterized by proliferation, contractility, and chemotaxis. These cells are responsible for secreting collagen scar tissue, which can lead to cirrhosis. Hence, it can be concluded that stellate cells play an active role in several human liver diseases, with a particular reactivity pattern in fibrotic liver disorders.